Hello. Hopefully this is your favourite gnome. Woodland gnome in the zebra. <laughs> There's a reference for any gong fans. It's okay, I'm not in a flying teapot today. What I am is on an investigation because from where I was working I looked over and I saw bare wood and I couldn't work out I mean I was looking at it thinking that's not something that's been cut because it's the wrong height because it was up in the upper bit now I thought well maybe it's a tear you know I speak about double trunked trees and the way one falls will always fall and tear eventually like there's a, a fork here see that that's okay at the moment but it's dead so that will come down so uh, I thought and what I could see was like that so I figured what I'll do is I'll come and see if I can find it. Now I can see a really lovely tear, a lovely tear. But it's quite hard now I'm here to figure out where it is. Anyway, I thought I'd bring you with me because that, oh, Oh, I say, <laughs> you really are pleased to see us. Oh, I can smell fox. Anyway, it is possible but I may not find it. And here's one that's been, oh, that was cut a while back. But yeah, this is something I'm not sure about. Let's show you. Now that's damage, sure, that's damage. But there's nothing here to suggest what caused that at all. You know, something big enough to go past there would be still visible, but it's not. Oh, look at that. It's always a bit tough. <laughs> a bit, um, worrying doing something like that. In that time that I did that, I did ask if I could do that. That was all going on while I was filming. Here's some oxalis here. Lovely, lemony. I, I very often used to um, come to the woods and put some in my sandwich. There you go, there's an example of what I mean. That's a, that's a perfect tear. But, you know, especially with all this ash above me. Ooh, oh no, that's a dog. It's, a, it's not a dog. It's dog print. Anyway, I, I, I expect you want to look ahead. Because I thought what I'll do is while I'm here, I'm going to come and visit something that is rather special. Oh, that's nice. Lovely badminton fern. <laughs> Shuttlecock fern. Look at this little clump here. It's hard to tell whether that's one tree or a, a number, but hang on. Yeah, I think that's an ash and a hawthorn. 
Yeah. It is. Hawthorn being the smaller, lower one. Oh, they're nice, nice and mossy, aren't they? All mice and nossy. Okay, I'm going to get down to the path again. Something uses this, doesn't it? But there are some bits in this wood that I, I just love so much. It feels like I may have it to myself today. Or we have it to ourselves. Yeah, here we go. I think this is it starting. Look at this in here. wants to go down into that bit. I know I've said that before, but for anyone who's not watched this before, <laughs> I'm, by this I mean this channel, I can't find a way through whilst having a camera. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put that on my inner list. I mean, I love how this looks here. Those two hazel stools. Okay, I grab onto something and uh, grab onto something stable. <laughs> See how it drapes itself through. I look down through there, you can really see it. Look. Seems to have full rain here. Now this. This is probably one of the last times that we're going to see this because this ash is dead and it will have to come down quite soon because it's near the path. But look at that. The shapes of the old man beards the shapes that the old man's beard forms and it's gone right up in there and even through there in the center of the shop that's some as well I just love it I do have a bit of film of it in the winter light which is just incredible I think I have used that on a video on the Woodland Temple channel. There's a really, really lovely purple light to it. And I didn't realize till I got home and looked at the footage and thought that I'd been, would have been better off. <laughs> well, I wish that I'd filmed more. You can see the ivy hasn't done any good. Like, Looks like there's two ropes going up. Can you see them? Uh, two ropes there going up. Some interesting shapes in here.
Okay, even with the sound of aircraft and of people bashing about and working, it's still peaceful, isn't it? And even with me wittering on. Uh, yeah, loads of ash is dead in here now. I was right. I did come through before it had gone, but it is, it's gone. So this is going to be very different very soon. So I'm going to come in here and get as much footage as I can for you before it goes, but there you go. Doesn't that look dark and inviting? Isn't that beautiful? It's funny, I know I probably say this a number of times, but I hear people say that they would love to be in Britain as long as it didn't rain. Well, because <laughs> uh, they love the countryside, but if it didn't rain, it wouldn't be like this. So I will come in here and I will film, I'll just walk through using my gimbal and I'll try not to say anything. I find it really hard sometimes because I want to share some of this. Well, I want to share this, this is why I'm doing it. Look at that. But yeah, without this wet there wouldn't be so much moss. But what's interesting is that there's hardly any fungus. I mean, this has streams running through it. I, you know, I had to walk through one to come to get in. You know, spring, and they just run all the way down, all over, and, and meet down in the uh, down, down there. Um, I was trying to get a good get close to that first bit of autumn. That's a beach. But it runs down right into that valley, so from all around. But yet, hardly any fungus. I've seen two little nondescript ones today. Brown, cream, brown. Don't know what's happened. <laughs> and here, you've got the moss on a lovely patch of grass. It's lovely with that fern behind, isn't it? That's quite a magical meditation spot, maybe, if you can find a comfortable <laughs> angle to sit on. Okay, mind your head. So, yeah, thanks for coming along. There's the jay. We had a jay, blackbird, and a raven. So, see you next time. Tell her.